It did have me asking myself a question. Is this going to be a cakewalk to the Super Bowl for the Dallas Cowboys? My answer is simple. Hell no. I'm not giving you that. I don't believe it. I ain't trying to hear it. Nothing. It's the, cow it's the Cowboys, damn it. I ain't giving them that kind of love. I'm sorry. I'm just not doing it. I'm just not doing it. By the way, Atlanta. This kid, Gabriel, did you see the show he put on yesterday? You see the speedster that he is? With Muhammad Sanu, with Julio Jones, with Devontae Freeman? Excuse me. Hello? The ATL? Let's not ignore what they can do. Then I saw Seattle. No running game to speak of because Royals can't get it done because the offensive line can't block for them. If you can't block for the run and can't pass protect for Russell Wilson, how the hell are the receivers supposed to do anything? Whether it's Doug Baldwin or anybody else. Because the Packers secondary is just atrocious. I mean, my God. I mean, I understand your reserve, Sam Shields, is out and all, but you are wearing an NFL uniform. I could not believe how bad Green Bay secondary was last week. I almost felt sorry for McCarthy. And, of course, Aaron Rodgers. Ryan Tannehill has a QBR of over 100 over the last several weeks. I don't know what the hell is going on here. I got to admit it. I'm kind of shocked. Tells me a lot about the Los Angeles Rams. And when are y'all going to get a grip and get Jeff Fisher the hell out of there? Andy Reid, being typical Andy Reid, finds a way to make things happen. Find a way to make things work. Finds a way for you to win. Because the Redskins, you already lost to the Cowboys twice. Shell up. I don't want to hear from the Redskins anymore. You lost to them twice. So much for being the kings of the NFC East. And don't y'all worry, I'll get to Colin Kaepernick in a moment. Nuno, get my sound ready, please.